Hey everybody, how you doing today? Buddy Blackford here, another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna go over a quick tip with you about moving your channel mask between documents. And it's pretty easy. So if you've got a channel mask that you've created in a document and you wanna bring it over to another document, I'm gonna show you how to do that in case you need to know how to do it. Um, this is pretty handy if you have like a text channel mask and uh, you want to bring it into two separate documents that way you don't have to keep on making new masks so um, let's get started the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have a document with a channel mask in it <clears throat> and um, of course we have a channel mask going on here and if you're not sure how to make a channel mask uh, check out a, a few tutorials back where I teach you how to make one it's uh, really easy so and it's only a couple minute tutorial so just go ahead and check that out so we've got our channel mask here, and uh, this one here, this document here, does not have a channel mask. So go up to Window. We need to put these side by side. So let's arrange these so that these are side by side. And go ahead into your document that has the channel mask, and just drag the channel mask into the other document. And now, if we look at this document here with the cherries, you can see that the channel mask that I made is in there now and that's how you do it it's simple and really easy and that was the quick tip i wanted to show you and i'm not going to waste any more time because it was supposed to be quick so see you guys later and check out the next tutorial combining channel masks so see you there bye hey everybody what is up today today in this tutorial we're going to learn how to combine channel masks and that's basically just taking two channel masks and creating one channel mask out of both of them that both of the masks are combined into. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have two channel masks. Now I've got this channel mask here um, about of the moon and then I've got a channel mask of this text that says the moon is nice. So what I wanted to do is have both of these just on one. So let's go ahead and turn, let's turn our RGB on real quick. Now we're going to control click on one of the masks. Now that's going to create a selection for us and that's what we want. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to con hold control and shift and then click on the other mask. Now we've got both of the selections up and now we're able to proceed to the next step where we can create our next channel mask and all we need to do is click on the uh, create mask button. It's actually called save selection as channel. So click on that and now we've got our full one here. If I, if I unselect or deselect and then go ahead and control and click on this, it's going to select both of them. So now we've got our two separate masks and then we've got our combined mask. It's uh, pretty easy and easy as pie and if you need to do that and now you know how so thanks for watching this one about uh, combining channel masks remember control click on your first one and then control click sh or control shift click on your second one and then come down here to where you're going to save your uh, selection and it creates your new one for you so thanks for watching this one everybody hope you learned something have a good day